Hey guys, and welcome to Baseball Cards Rule. Uh, got a uh, pretty good uh, mail day here. Uh, from some uh, some trades and um, one of these here I bought. Uh, or, no, I'm sorry. These first three I I, uh, I bought off of uh, eBay. These are 1996 Bowman Best. These are the uh, refractor versions. Um, I saw these uh, someone else's video with some uh, refractors, and uh, I just had to go online and get some. So, because I just love refractors. So anyway, uh, these are from 1996 Bowman's Best. Uh, this first one here is uh, Eddie Murray. Again, that is the oops, the refractor version. So, really love refractors. And then we got uh, Andy Pettit. It's got it's almost kind of hard to see that this actually refracts. Uh, not like your normal refractor where you know you have that big, huge refractor that you know you can just tell. Uh, next one here is Jeff Bagwell. And then we've got a 2000, actually this is one I bought off eBay, uh, this is a 2000 Bowman Chrome bidding for the call, refractors of Josh Hamilton. See how on this one you can see the refractor so much better than on these uh, than those other ones. So anyway, uh, bought this for $1.50 uh, off of eBay. Um, not sure what it books for, but I just found that a second year card, a refractor. Uh, found it hard to believe that no one else. It, it wasn't a buy it now. It was a, a bidding where they started it at uh, 99 cents, and uh, I won it for a dollar fifty. So I was really, uh, really happy to uh, uh, to get that. So back when he was on the raise before his. Uh, Druggy days. Well, it might have been during his druggy days. I don't know, but glad he cleaned himself up. Uh, this one here um, got this also off of eBay. Uh, bought this uh, for my son. He wanted a card really badly. He was like, "Bid on a card for me, Daddy! Bid on a card for me!" Uh, so uh, we both like the Braves. So uh, and he wanted something with the a jersey on it or something like that since he doesn't have anything uh, my son's five so he finds everything fascinating so anything he can touch you know he really likes that so he really enjoyed getting this card uh, uh, card today so uh, this one I did with it got with a trade uh, traded away some some of my Astros game used for this um, just kind of really had to have this card. I saw it on a blog, uh, The Daily Dimwit, uh, if y'all have ever been on that blog before. Um, he had, I think he pulled this out of a, I think he did a break or something like that, and that's how he got this, and I saw it on there, and, and I just really liked how it looked. Uh, anyway, it's a 2012 uh, Mike Schmidt, uh, Tops retired rings, very cool looking card. I mean, even just the it's kind of brass little I don't even know pendant or something uh, in the middle there, but really cool. This is probably the biggest card, the thickest card I have ever seen. I mean, that is thick. I mean, it's definitely the heaviest card I've ever ever handled before. Uh, this is numbered to uh, to 736. Um, so anyway, uh, I don't even know how much it books for, and I guess I really don't care. Um, so if anybody else has any of the uh, other ones out there of these, uh, I'd love to trade uh, trade for it if it's one of the players I collect. So if you have one, uh, let me know, and uh, maybe we can work out a trade. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, none of these uh, in this video are for trade, so uh, I do thank you for uh, 
just watching and uh, checking out my uh, my collection. So, all right, guys. Well, uh, don't forget to visit uh, baseballcardsrule.com. Thanks.